Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today I would like to introduce you to Juan Vicente Perez Mora, who is currently the oldest living man in the world. He was born on May 27 in 1909, which makes him 114 years old. He will reach 115 on May 27 this year. What can we learn from Mr. Perez? Let's look at five aspects which may have contributed to Mr. Perez's long life. First, he has always been active. A little background on Mr. Perez. He was born in El Cobre, Venezuela, and now lives in San Jose de Bolivar, where he has been for 107 years. For most of his life, he has been a farmer, though he was a sheriff for 10 years and also worked in road construction. So like many of the people in the Blue Zones, his occupations have kept him active throughout his life. This may have helped him to remain strong. Although he has mostly used a wheelchair since he was 98, he could still walk with a frame until 111, and even now he can get himself in and out of bed. He has no major illnesses and lives at home. A local doctor visits him from time to time, which is a testament to his health and to the support of his family. He has always had a positive and curious mindset. At 114, he is still lucid with a clear mind. His daughter, who looks after him, reports him to be cheerful, positive. He seems to have had a positive outlook from a young age. In 1921, when he was 12 years old, he caught the Spanish flu, along with one of his brothers. He quickly recovered, and when his worried mother came to check on him, he said with great foresight, Mom, I'm fine. I feel better now. You will see that I'm going to live to be 100 years. And now this promise has come true. He also remembers the total eclipse of February 23, 1916, and how it caused some consternation in his family, as they had not seen the news and were not expecting it. Three is his daily routine. He has always been an early riser, a habit that he continues to this day. He wakes up around 6 a.m., though now he does not get up until breakfast at 8.30. He has five meals a day, finishing with dinner around 5.30 p.m. This both gives him constant energy during the day and allows enough time for good digestion before sleep and a 12-hour fasting period. Let's have a look at Mr. Perez's diet. This is an interesting point. Mr. Perez's diet seems quite varied and includes pasta, rice, corn, cheese, mortadella, blood sausages, and dark chocolate, among other things. According to his daughter, he eats everything, and his favorites are cakes, tripe, avocado, and halaka. Halaka is a traditional Venezuelan dish made of corn dough stuffed with a meat stew, which might be what he is eating in this photo. However, he does avoid sodas, burgers, and pizza, fried food, and fast food. For me, this shows that just getting rid of the worst offenders can make a lot of difference, and too strict a diet may be counterproductive by causing excess stress and being difficult to follow. He drinks black coffee, a vitamin drink, and aguamio. This is a tea based on sugarcane syrup. Although generally healthy, he does seem to have high uric acid, and I am not sure that aguamio will be good for that. Also, he used to drink a glass of aguardiente every day, but has stopped this. Aguardiente is a kind of distilled alcoholic spirit. He still drinks some red wine. Five is strong social and family relationships. Mr. Perez was married to Miss Ediofina del Rosario Garcia in 1938 until her death in 1997. His immediate family now has six children, 41 grandchildren, 18 great-grandchildren, and 12 great-great-grandchildren. And he is cared for by three of his daughters. What about genes and good luck? One thing to keep in mind is that it may be tempting to think that people such as Mr. Perez are mostly lucky and just happen to have the right genes. I'm sure that over 114 years, genes and good luck play a role. However, a 2018 paper found that less than 10% of longevity was accounted for by genetics. Other researchers have a higher number, up to 30%, but still that means at least 70% are things that we have control over. In Mr. Perez's own words, these are the things that he credits with his good health. Working hard, resting on holidays, going to bed early, drinking aguardiente, and his love of God. Mr. Perez has always been a strict Catholic, and his faith remains a central part of his life. So where is Mr. Perez in the list of oldest living people? He is currently fourth. 
All the others are ladies. And when I was making this slide, I saw that the rest of the page, almost all of those below him were ladies as well. So he is doing very well for a man. We talked about Ms. Branyas a few weeks ago. She is currently the oldest living person and her video is linked to above. Here is the list of the oldest recorded men ever. Mr. Perez is currently here at number four and he will be the oldest recorded person in a bit over one year. We look forward to Mr. Perez reaching his 115th birthday in May. Thank you for your attention and I wish you all well.